This video will cover some Solve Subsystem Interface or SSI commands. The SSI is an architected interface in ZOS that allows programs to be service providers or users. The SSI provides communication between the product region and other software on the system. One SSI serves multiple Netmaster regions. The Packet Analyzer is a feature of the SSI. We're going to start with some SSI EPS commands. EPS is short for Endpoint Services, which is a communications access method provided by the SSI region. Method provides communication by using ZOS Cross-System Coupling Facility, or XCF, in a Sysplex environment. These commands are run from a command mode from a Netmaster region. The system names, Netmaster region names, domain names, and TCP IP addresses have been darkened in this video for security purposes. This is the output from the show SSI EPS command. The first column provides the message ID, which can be found in the Netmaster message reference guide. The next column is the NTYP. This identifies the endpoint name type, which will be an SSI region or a solved Netmaster region. The third column is name, which would be the name of the SSI or Netmaster region. For security reasons, I have darkened it. Column 4 is the EPID, which is the assigned endpoint ID. The next column is SUPCLAS, which is a bitmap of supported endpoint services classes. The sixth column, VERS, refers to the management services version for the SSI or Netmaster region. The next column is FLAGS, which is used for decoding packets. The following column is VIA LOST. This shows the endpoint services ID that messages routed via or the time that the connection was lost. Finally, we get to the hops column. This displays the number of hops to get to the defined SSI region. This slide is the output from the show SSI stats command. It displays statistics about internal SSI pools. This command is useful for tuning and debugging. Some topics provided on the screen information on the number of 4K blocks of storage allocated for the end of task or end of memory notification. Also displayed are storage pool statistics and packet analyzer decoupler statistics. The number of git main macros and free main macros issued by Netmaster SSI, as well as the current total number of git main storage owned by Netmaster SSI regions and SPO 0 through 127. The next several lines that are prefixed with NS1Z are for type totals for cross-memory and SRB calls. Also, packet analyzer decoupler statistics are included. This slide is a continuation of the show SSI stats command. This slide contains packet analyzer database page statistics for the dynamic, sync, and trace databases. Under each type of database, there are labels for several fields. TOT displays the total number of pages available in the database in blocks. AVL displays the number of available blocks in the database. CUS displays the current number of blocks used in the database. CPC displays the current percentage of the database used. Note on this field, depending on the type of terminal that you use, you may not see the actual value in this field without hitting PF11 and shifting. HUS displays the highest number of blocks used at any time. NPC displays the highest percentage used at any time. GET displays the number of GET requests. FRE displays the number of free requests. FGT displays the number of GET requests that failed. The last section of this slide displays trace database buffer statistics. The five columns are size indicates the buffer size. B slash P indicates the number of buffers per page. Pages indicates the number of pages allocated to this pool. UBuff indicates the number of in-use buffers of this size. FBuff indicates the number of free buffers of this size. This is the third page of output from the show SSI stats command. This slide contains ENF statistics and XCF statistics. The XCS columns represent member name, which is the XCF member name of the member in this group. It has been darkened out for security purposes. Other fields are buff sent, the number of data buffers sent to the member, byte sent, the total number of bytes sent to the member, buff received, 
the total number of data buffers received from the member, bytes received, the total number of bytes received from this member. This is the output from the show SSI EPS detail command. It is similar to the show SSI EPS command, but has more information in it. You will notice that the first row of columns are the same as the SSI EPS command, but with this command, there are two additional rows of columns. Each SSI or Solve Netmaster region will now have three rows of data specified. For security purposes, job names, sysnames, and domain names have been darkened. This is the second slide from the show SSI EPS detail command. This slide shows you that the XCF facility is active. It provides the XCF member name, group name, and token. The member name and sysname have been darkened for security purposes. This slide is the output of the show SSI EPS stats command. This command provides four rows of columns, which provide statistics for messages sent and received and bytes sent and received. The names of the SSI and Netmaster regions have been darkened. This is the output of the show SSI EPS links command. Additional data included in this display is AM name, which is the access method name for this path, path ID, which is the internal path ID of this path, max unseg, which is the maximum unsegmented messages allowed on this path. This is a continuation of the show SSI EPS detail command. You might notice a member token in there and the ID. The member names and sysnames have been darkened. This is the output of the SSI status command. This command gives you lots of information such as SSI version, the SSI's current status, the management services level, the subsystem ID, and the netmaster ID. The netmaster ID, job name, and domain name have been darkened out. This command also tells you if cross-memory services is in use, the status of the SSI database, and the number of stacks enabled. This command also shows you if the packet analyzer feature is active and what version is active. This is the second screen from the SSI status command. This display shows SMF information. Again, region names have been darkened. This is the third screen of the output from the SSI status command. It gives you the status of ARM and it also tells you that XCS is active. This command is an extreme debugger command which tells you the counts for certain record types. If you wanted to view these, you would select the particular record type that you wanted to view. I can't do this at this time for security reasons. However, on your system, you will get all kinds of IP addresses and statistics for each individual type of record.